Right, this is for the attention of people on the on the page who own these crossbow pistols. I know Mark's got one, Mark Fenny. And um, we've talked about them a few times. Like they do have their limitations, but in the situations that we discussed and the scenarios that are likely to arise, that we believe are likely to arise in the future, they do have their uses, you know. They're, they're, they're not like I, I, I would not use them as a hunting tool. I have in the past in other in another country and I'm not confident that they're humane enough because of their lack of accuracy. But uh, in a situation where you were standing like, say, three, four, five meters away from something you wanted to stop dead, they would have a good practical use there. This is supposed to be an 80 pound draw bow. I doubt very much that it is, but they come in a 50 pound variation as well. The 80 pound draw is a lot better for a survival SHTF or roll scenario, whatever you're gonna use it for. And um, the sights with these are always shit. So I, I've used a couple of good ones. They sell a really, really good one of these in Spain. It's a fantastic tool, but the sights are exactly the same as the Chinese ones, the rubbish. So what I've done here is I've got this old red dot sight that, that my mate had on an airsoft rifle. It was bust and he gave it me and I've snapped the top tube off. And as you can see here, I've zip tied a laser on, you know, so it gives you some approximation of aim, really. Um, Oh, if you got one of them, always be careful not to shine it in anyone's got, you know what I mean? So, with regards to the, the arrows, you get four of these, specifically four of these are rubbish, like little tin tubes or plastic ABS darts, so I always make my own. And these, I make four or five different types, but these ones are made from old crossbow bolts, cut down, re-glued in, with the, with the flights cut down to like very, very narrow veins. And this has to be so that they sit in the, in the rail and it sits underneath the arrow holder here. And it's got to sit flush in the rail, otherwise they just won't work. So in a minute, I'll uh, take a few shots with it and show you how it works. Like I said, you know, three, four, five, six meters is most effective range. I'm gonna show you how they work over like 14 meters, just to give you some idea of how effective they can be. As usual, the caveat is always safety, because, you know, if you miss, you can damage property in air with these. They're not a toy like so. We'll have a go with that in a minute. 